I pray Buhari does not pick Bola Tenembo as successor, Buddy George. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Elder statesman and former vice chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Bode George, has asked President Buhari not to anoint Bola Tenembo as his successor. According to George, a Bola Tenembo presidency will be disastrous for the country. Speaking to the point, she stated that the PDP is working out to dislodge the ruling all progressive Congress in Lagos State. Asked if he thinks Buhari will hand over power to Tenembo in 2023, or Labo De George said, That is between them, but I pray that God will go into Buhari's mind so that that kind of character does not go near government. We know what the cause outcome is from Lagos. The former military officer also accused Tenembo of Conline of Conor legal state world for himself, family, and friends. Go around the Koyi, go around Lekki, and you will see the amount of government land years he has to himself. He owns the LCC and collects tools. His son handles the B-board of Lagos. Do you know what that means? What the heck is this? He spent only eight years in office, book at the humongous amount of the pension he arranged for himself. He said, Ola Bode George said he spent over 20 years in the military with a pension of over 200,000 a month as a general. He said, Tunembo has one massive house in Lagos and one massive house in Abuja, and every four years, they must change his bill proof cars for him. For doing what? So many things that he has turned in, there will be a day of reckoning, and all those babas who were with him and who pretended they did not know, all of them will face the power of the people to ask them questions. I am talking because I am a Lagosian and I have no other place to go. This is my heritage, my hometown. This is where I went to school, and this is my family tire. Uncle, they will come and tell you that your prayers will not be answered. Baba, the day joy, you must relocate to Cameroon by fire. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they said you must relocate to Cameroon. You people do not have joy, you. Hmm. Leave Tunumbo alone, Baba George. It is you that is a thief and will send to prison for embezzlement of NPA money. Hmm. Now, wow. We are not bet off. You certainly will be voting for Jacoban during the election. I trust you, Baba. Continue to deceive them. <laughs> hey, God. Hmm. Uncle Bode, I laugh at you in Swahili. You are simply becoming G3 of impending Sunumbo elevation to president. Go and pack your baggages and zoom off on an exile, for that is what you promised to do. Hmm. Baba, what is your business if it does? Are you planning to defect? So, Uncle Bode, or not Uncle Bode, Pa Bode, this man is an old man. Um, hmm. Now, wow, I don't know how true all you are saying, because the thing is in Nigeria, we don't even know who is saying the truth again. We don't know who is saying the truth again. But George have come out and said something very similar to this. And I think it was countered by... I don't know who countered it, sir. But we don't know who is who. People who are saying he's coming out just to deceive people. They might be correct. It is not everyone who comes out during campaign like this and campaign for you. What people would be... <laughs> you'd be surprised what the human mind can do. People can have you on their lips but not in their hearts. And have you in their hearts and not on their lips. It is the two different things to campaign. And when it is time for election and voting, you vote for that person you campaigned for. And it's the two different things is when it comes to campaigning, you do not campaign at all. And yet you still go out and cast a vote for the person you want to. But the thing is, the whole take home point is you feel this person is your candidate, he's the best. I've said it before, you should give me reasons why. Yes, give me reasons why. Why this man is your most favorite? If you know your 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 candidate is Tunubu, if you know your candidate is uh, uh, what's it called is Osibanjo or any of them, Rosimi Amechi uh, or, or whoever, just tell us, give us like reasons, one or two reasons why these people, or even three reasons why these people are your candidates. Is it because they are competent? If you are competent, tell us how. Show us how. Remember, refresh your memory. If it is because they are the travelers, show us how. 
what exactly connotes that they are destabilized? What proves that they are destabilized? If they are, you know, just show us, tell us what exactly, uh -huh. you know, just tell us what exactly, what exactly, yes, I would like to know. Maybe, maybe we can say business with you people. Yes, maybe we can say business. Because uh, no matter how we forecast, anyway, the election has not even come. The primaries have not even gone. That is why I keep telling people to mellow it down because you might shout up, shout down after everything. It will turn out that your candidate will not even be the one to to be picked during the primaries. <laughs> and it is going to be painful, especially when you don't go run your mouth. It's just like during football, you don't run your mouth. Maybe first half, you don't beat person 2-0. Uh -huh. I will keep referring to the match between Manchester City and uh, was it... Uh, and which other people? I think, I think, I think, uh, was it Manchester City and Aston Villa? Ah, well, that match was very, very, very interesting. I think they scored one. Then before you know it, towards the end of the match, that's why I said this policy is like a game of football. And before, towards the end of the match, they, they scored. Before you know it, they collide. Before you know it, they give 3 2, and that 3 2, they held on to, they make sure that um, uh, Aston Villa did not equalize and they won the game so that is just it that is it and they became the uh, they took the carry the premiership uh, cup of uh, yes yes so just like football you don't have a clear view of everything no matter even if it is a day to the election you will never have a clear view on the election day that is if Nigeria to be a country that you know People election count, you know, people do not say, oh, they have done their selection and give excuses to come out. Or, oh, my polling unit is not where I registered. My polling booth is somewhere else. And election, they don't permit movement. This one, they have I've started saying it that they have said, if you live in Abuja and your polling unit is in Lagos, you can go and take your polling unit and make sure you, you, you take it back to where you are. Even if you're in Patakot now, go and explain to those people that issues card, they are going to make sure to select the one close to your house so that you can come in. I mean, you can come out, cast your votes, and the same way, go quietly back into your house. Nobody will disturb you. No excuse of, ah, I couldn't go. There was no movement to, or no. Just this one, anytime. If you feel there is crowd, the crowd is too much. When the crowd has gone down, you go, cast your vote, and quietly go inside your house. If they give you money, you are free to collect to. You collect to and still cast your vote for that your most competent candidate. Okay, hopefully at this point in time we will get it right. We cannot afford afford not to get it right. Okay, on this note we have come to the end of the news. We, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>